10. There isn't much I could say about Mirai as to how cool her power is, even though the ability to manipulate blood isn't the most original idea out there, I do admit, but nonetheless it's pretty awesome to have a power that you can shape into anything you need or want at will. Nine. Asuka has one of the most interesting abilities on this list, as she can pretty much make anyone her bitch. Her ability is authority, which enables her to command anyone to do as she wishes, and I can only imagine the potential of what could be achieved the stronger her ability gets. Eight. For Fate fans, some may argue this little girl is too fragile to become a main protagonist after witnessing her defeat in Fate's Day Night and Fate's Day Unlimited Bloodworks. However, your misjudgment prevented you from witnessing this. The rundown here is that Ilya is a Maha Shoujo. She makes a contract with the Cubit, I mean the Ruby, how could I get that mixed up since both of those shows aren't alike whatsoever. Thus, when she is contracted to collect the class cards that contain souls of heroic spirits, Ilya can then take form of any of the spirit cards she has, and performs on the same level as they would in battle. Just look at her giving Saber a run for her title as king. Seven. Yuka is safe to say one of the few characters I like on Kill la Kill. The variation in forms she can take on with Sengetsu, her partner that she wears. I bet you never thought I'd say that, would you? Despite how provocative she must dress to use such power, the more embarrassed she feels, the weaker she gets, which is the major drawback. Therefore, her guts and hot-headedness opens the door to many cool comebacks she often makes in the series, with these cool forms that do wow us in rough times. And don't forget her unusual weapon, which is quite interesting coming from a half scissor which pretty much acts more or less as a sword to be honest but it's got that interesting turn on it with it coming from a scissor and there's no telling how gory she'll get once she gets the other half of her scissor oh dear i can imagine the bloodbath now six Shizuri aka Meltdown has one of the most devastating abilities I've seen. Her ability is made up of electrons that can be manipulated into a beam and melt anything out there. So she is one hot bitch you do not want to be caught cheating on for sure. Eren's ability may be the most simplistic power on this list, however you cannot underestimate the potential of what's to come from the transformation to these titans, especially after seeing Eren beating the living shit out of those supersized beasts. We are all aware that he could practically stomp on any living being give or take on the ability of that individual. In this world dominated by titans, he has an equal footing, especially with the abilities he unlocks within the series, that does make you question how he would fare amongst other characters on this list. Kojo, the ladies back. Well, nothing compared to the likes of Kena and Rito's level. Oh yeah. But his ability is what is indeed intriguing. The rundown here is that Kojo is unique to your average vampire, as he is the fourth primogenitor that has inherited Aurora's 12 familiars. However, he must suck the blood of an equivalent in relation to the amount of familiars he has in order to use them. The scale of how powerful these familiars have been unmatched from what I've seen, but nonetheless, it will leave your jaws dropped in shock. However, as Kojo has only attained 3 out of the 12 so far, he isn't as powerful as you would imagine for now. In comparison to the other characters on this list, we'll just have to wait for the increase of how many girls he adds to the harem of sucking their blood, as the more bitches he gets, the more familiars that become present. Three. Staz's power is hard to explain, as he's from a hybrid of vampires that live in the demon world. It's tricky to pinpoint what his powers exactly entails, but from observation after witnessing knockout uppercuts, to tearing hearts and of course his own original Kamehameha. All I can argue is that Stan simply has too much power that he doesn't even need to even think about naming moves when his power essentially takes shape and form to how he wants to take out his opponents, which is badass in itself. Two. 
The best way to describe Izayoi is that he's a fucking hack. I swear, it was so awesome to see this guy's strength match his confidence and cockiness, which is particularly a rare sight to see in anime characters nowadays, especially the good guys. What puts him so high up on this list is that we haven't seen Izayoi struggle at all within the series whatsoever. Therefore, it was difficult to determine the limits of his strength when we as the audience haven't seen his character struggle whatsoever, and especially within a 10 episode series. Hyobe Kyosuke is one of the most powerful high level multi powered espers I personally have seen. Don't let this 80 year old's appearance fool you whatsoever, as the capacity of his powers exceeds beyond most anime characters I've seen. His powers range from psychokinesis to teleportation to pyrokinesis, electrokinesis, and hypnosis, and so on. You also cannot forget his unlimited mode that unlocks the full potential of his power and on top of that an even higher mode called Octic Boost where he combines his abilities and can turn anything into ash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave your responses down below and here's a quick question for you. Out of all these characters, who do you reckon would come on top? I look forward to seeing responses down below in the comments and I'll catch you all in the next video.